Welcome to the vlog today, everybody. Yay. We are coming at you live from the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. Oh, getting my belly. One of our favorite places. Today has taken a very weird turn. Last night, Didi went to bed not feeling well, right? And you guys, he like was moaning in his sleep, like painful. Like, okay, the only thing I can compare to is when j -Beck was little, probably like three, he broke his arm. And I didn't know if it was broken or not, right? And he fell asleep in my arms. And how I knew that something was wrong is that even though he was asleep, his body was like shuddering in pain. And he was like, uh, uh, yeah, it was bad. That's what you were doing last night in bed. Like, even though I knew you were asleep, I'd hear you like, uh, 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 and I was like, I'm never getting, I, I have gotten less sleep in the last two weeks. Like, and then do you remember waking up and you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, yeah. What was, what was I doing? I was looking while I was looking at um, library books for Peyton. It's funny because so many things go through my head because it's like, oh my gosh, like Peyton has to read five more books before the end of the school year in like mm, three and a half weeks. Anyways, anyways, it was a crazy morning. He woke up and his blood pressure was like, I don't know, the top number was fine. 139 over, over uh, 112. 112. That is so high for like not working out, not doing yeah, anything. It wasn't doing anything. So I called the doctor immediately, like we're talking like 7.30, called the emergency line, they didn't answer, it's fine. Watch voice phone was like, hey, um, we've gotta get him back on the medicine. Like he doesn't feel good, he's not sleeping, he's not, all this stuff. The doctor just called back not too long ago. Not like an hour ago. And had him get back on his medicine and we're gonna still keep taking it. We're gonna go up to 25 milligrams, not just jump up right to 50. So we'll see how it goes. But that's not the only weird thing that happened this morning. Well, not weird, but also fantastic. My sweet mom, as you all know, is serving a mission for our church in Washington. She comes home in like months? 60 days yeah. from today. Two months from today. I just realized that, and also, I don't know. The other day I was nursing Rocky, and I was like, this is so much harder without my mom. Like, when she left, I never thought I'd go through something like this without her, you know, when she was gone. So, I don't wanna cry, just in my makeup. <clears throat> the Chick fil A people are gonna be like, you, know, you, you okay? Anyways, my sweet mom is not here and cannot do something necessarily physically and she was like, hey, I'm gonna go book a place up in Park City. Anyways, she booked a place in Park City tonight. My sister is here for the next like five hours with our kids and then my in-laws are gonna come. They were already gonna be here all day tomorrow because we have tests all day on JD's lungs. And so um, they just came a few hours early and they're gonna sleep there with the kids tonight. So we are on our way up for a little getaway the two of us. Why am I crying? I don't know, because it's really helpful. Because they're wrapped my Chick-fil-A food and I really, really am hungry. I didn't eat breakfast. The good news, he gave me plenty of napkins I can use for tears and we've got drinks. We've got the waffle fries of love. I just do the, well, I, whoa, whoa. we're okay. I like the Cobb salad or the chicken nuggets are my two favorites. And JD. I don't, I, don't know oh. I don't even have a desire oh. to have a sandwich. I just love what I have. And JD gets the spicy deluxe. Oh, it's yeah? oh yeah. No pickles. No pickle or tomato. I know. I know your Chick Fil A order, baby. I know you. I do. know it. Yeah. So we're off. To, uh, um, off to Park City. We do have family pictures a week from like tomorrow. A week, a week from Saturday. Saturday. And I don't know what we're gonna have the kids wear. So we. I am having JD come shopping with me for a minute up at the outlets in Park City so that we can kind of get family pictures wrapped up, or at least if I can't find something, I know, so that I can order stuff online. I 
just used his to hit mine. If this is a two, I go over. If this is a one, I win. What is do you guys think? You guys tell us, is Comment. that a two or one. is that a one? <laughs> Go directly over right, top. Directly over top. Oh my god. Is that two or is that a one? I, I think the angle kind of helps. I said, think actually, it, it is a one. I kind of think it's a one. I kind of think, think I one. win. I but think I, think I don't want to win with an asterisk. Actually, it does look more like a one. I don't want to win with an asterisk. I want to win because I'm better than you. <laughs> so we have shopped till we dropped, which oh. isn't as long as it maybe used to a little bit, and that's okay. You doing okay? Oh. Are you doing okay? For reals? Oh. For reals. We're all, we're all worried. So we found one shirt that would work for Judy and one dress that would work for Palmer, but they, don't work they wouldn't work together. So it kind of depends which one I want to go with. Um, I Every time I'm like, next time we find my pictures, I'm starting with my dress and working around that. And it's always the hardest to find my dress. So I don't know. I'm not feeling really hopeful that in like three hours with no kids, if I can't find anything in an outlet mall. <laughs> not too promising. It's not really a good start. It's not a good start, but that's okay. We will move on from that and just enjoy the rest of our night. So I told JD, it's just up to him what we do now. Oh man. And what have you selected? We're going to Smith's, why? We're going to get some treats We're for We're going to go get some treats for in our hotel room. I packed nothing, nothing. Which well, is because it was so, spontaneous. It was. It was the most spontaneous thing we've ever done. But I didn't pack anything. <laughs> so we're going to run into Smith's, grab a couple treats, go check into our hotel, maybe walk up and down Main Street a little bit before it gets too cold because neither of us remember coats. And, <laughs> and then go find somewhere nicer for dinner. He, he wanted to go to Roost Chris. Let's get everybody's opinion on this. Cool. Literally, I told him I will go. I will totally go there with you. That will make you like. I feel like this is a special occasion, but I would get more joy in my Chick Fil A I had for lunch <laughs> than I would at Ruth's Chris. And that is maybe a character flaw. So, what are you guys? Are you like you want to be like bougie wine and dined, or are you Jay? What are you? Chill and Netflix and chill, or <laughs> bougie and wine and dined. <laughs> Oh, uh, so Personally, what, both. He, he likes both, and there is a time and place for both. But this would probably be a time for a nicer place if that's what he so chooses. All right, we're here. Wow, this is a big old entryway. I'm sure it's to house your season, right? Because this is like bigger than most hotel rooms <laughs> that I've been in. <laughs> See, what do we have? This is the play area. This is our, all right, washer and dryer. All right, we'll take that. Just in case we need it for the next 10 hours. All right, we got a double door here. Yeah, we have some nights. Going into... Good, they have a seat in the shower. I, uh, oh, I don't know how you've been having it pop in lately. We might really need it. Ooh, oh, we got a, a big old... Wow, that is a big old bath. You can also bring your skis into the bathtub. <laughs> we got this room. It's cute. Oh, it's interesting. Oh, wow. Look and at this. Ski go right off the side. Oh, yeah. And the pool. Oh, I want to bring cool. our kids. Look at the fountain. Or the waterfall-ish. Oh, my gosh. It's so in. cute. That's a cool pool. It's right Look there. The mountain. Oh, my gosh. Oh. This would be a cool place to come in the winter. For oh, sure. yeah. If you were a skier. And then this other room out here has a... Wow. In case you need to have a conference. Yeah. Got a little kitchen. Look at this. The kids would love that. There's like five hot tubs and a big heated pool. Oh, they would love it. Foosball. Beckham would love foosball. Yeah, we have to bring them back up. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Food. It was wow. amazing. What'd you get? It's like a turkey, turkey. bacon melt. Beautiful. It looks so good. I just got a nice old classic hamburger. Fries look amazing. You look amazing. Yeah, we found a shuffle board. Hey Jay, who's winning right now? Who's winning right now? Who's winning right now? Who won the last game? <laughs> and that is a wrap on our Park City little impromptu vacation. It's been really nice. Just me and Jay. Lots of laughing and a little bit less stress than we have been having. 
So tomorrow's a big day. We're doing all the pulmonary stuff, all the stuff in his lungs. I'm hoping that this test, well, we have multiple tests tomorrow. I think we have three. So it'll probably be an all day event, but at least we'll be together. And our kids are in great hands. And we're one step closer tomorrow to answers on this heartbreaking and yet beautiful journey we have found ourselves on. Nobody I'd rather go through it with than Jay, so I'm gonna go to bed now so I have strength to be the support he needs for me tomorrow and then to give that same support to my kids tomorrow because I miss them. Wish us luck tomorrow, send all the prayers. We can do hard things, you can do hard things. Whew, we got this team hour. See you tomorrow.